Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am trying out the It's Confidence in a Foundation foundation. Um, long wear, weightless, full coverage, velvet matte finish. So um, yeah, this is, uh, I believe it's new, oil free for all skin types. I got this on the It Cosmetics website for $32. Not so bad. Um, you know, of course, obviously, drugstore is cheaper, but let's see how this works. Mm, the color I'm using, and I hope is right, is number 230, and it's called Medium Beige C. Mm, I tried to go a little darker. Okay, well, let's hope it works. Really nice bottle. It's glass. Um, yeah, so we'll see. All day confidence. So we're going to test this out. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I should use a primer or not, so I thought I'll do half primer and half not. How am I going to remember which side I did primer on? I'll do the right side. Alright. I'll do the right side. So I'm just using my Tarte Timeless Primer. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm going to use my It's Cosmetics brush. It's a Kabugi brush. I apologize, I don't see a number on here because it's so worn off. Buff one to two pumps of foundation onto clean skin in circular motions for your most flawless looking finish. I'm going to start with one pump because past items I've used, it wasn't foundation, it was, you know, the uh, BB cream. That was thick stuff and it really was a lot. I, I Since I don't use a lot of foundation, like a heavy amount, I'm going to just go with one pump first, and if we have to use more, we'll use more. Okay. So, I'm so used to doing my makeup when my hair is in a turby twist. Okay, so maybe we could do two. Circular motions. Maybe we do only need one. Sometimes I'll go back and watch my video and I'll see one section that I keep missing and I want to like, I just yell at myself like, get, get over there. <laughs> it's so annoying. So apologize if you're seeing the same. If I'm missing a spot, it's so annoying. Okay. Honestly, that was one pump. I personally am happy with one pump. You might like two pumps, but I feel like one pump is enough. I don't like to look cakey. So that's why I'm gonna stick with the one pump, which is great, because you don't have to use a lot. Okay, let me see how this looks. Maybe I should have tried a sponge too, but I really want to work this in. I don't see a difference with the prime side or the non-prime side. I really think I'm the only one that, I don't know. But the foundation just doesn't work for me as much as other ones do. It doesn't look bad, but I see like my pores. It's like sinking into my pores, giving me little white dots, <clears throat> even on the prime side. But whatever, it's okay. Because the BB cream did that to me too. Let me just keep, maybe if I keep working in, and maybe it's because I'm using a brush. I've been used to using sponges. It doesn't look bad, like it looks really nice from the distance. So it's just because I looked up close. And I haven't looked at reviews online, so I don't know what others are saying. 
my guess is that they're loving it because sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who see that looks really nice though from the distance but when I look up close I'm gonna put in close-up pictures and it looks disgusting but this is what I see it's like blotchy it's just I can't get it over here um, let me try a sponge I'll be right back Put literally a little dot just to, I don't know. Get them. I don't think I'm the only one that this does not work for. I had the same issue with the BB cream. Like it looks great from a distance, <clears throat> but up close, it doesn't look so great. So what does that mean? People are not going to look at me up close, but it's not worth it. It's not, I mean, for me, it's not worth going through all this to make it look perfect. So um, let me finish the rest of my makeup and we'll see how the rest of the day goes, okay? Okay, the rest of my makeup is on and it looks really pretty, right? It really does. And then you take out the big mirror. And I don't know. I just don't get it. I'm very sad because from a distance it always looks great on me. And then I get close up and I don't know what's going on. I don't know. So um, I'm going to wear it throughout the day anyway and we'll see how the day goes. Okay, so I'll be back later and we'll do a little update, okay? Catch up later. Okay guys, it's the end of the night and um, I don't know, because from a distance, this foundation looks good. If I pass a mirror, I'm like, ooh, okay, my face looks good. And then when, if I look up close, I still see like it's patchy, it's just not on, it's just not going in certain places, it's not even killing me because again I'm thinking that a lot of people probably probably like this foundation um, but I just I don't know I don't know what it is with me um, but it doesn't I didn't think it looked great up close so you know I don't know because there are foundations that are even much cheaper that look great from a distance and look great from up close so to me comparing that I just, I'm not getting that with this, and I feel really bad because I really do like it cosmetics, I really do, um, and I really wanted this to work. I was excited because I kind of got the same result with the BB cream, I don't know why, although I still do use it every now and then, but I don't know, I get the exact same result. So maybe it's me, maybe it's my face, my skin, I don't know, but um, I feel bad because I want to make it work. but. I'm gonna try it again, I'm not gonna give up. And um, yeah, and again, you know, one side was primer, the other side wasn't, and they both look the same. There's no difference. My eye makeup looks hor horrible because I had something in my eye and it kept itching, so we're not gonna look at the eye makeup. This is about the foundation. Um, yeah, like I literally, this is what I can't stand. When foundations, sink into my pores and I just feel like I have like white dots everywhere and I kind of have this when I put it on and I kind of have it now. I don't like that and that's what I'm getting. So again, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's on both sides, primer or no primer. So again, I'll try it again, but right now, not a great first impression, I'll say that. And that stinks because this is like 30 something dollars and I don't like to just throw my money away. Like, it's a lot of money. A lot of money. So, whatever. Okay, well, I guess I'll just say goodnight now at this point. I'm gonna go to bed, wash up, and call it a day. And I'll try it again, I'm not gonna give up. Um, and we'll see if it makes it to my first quarter. Wow, that's coming up, end of March. So we'll see if maybe it got better over time. Maybe something I did, maybe, I don't know. We'll try it again though. And uh, that's it, so um, I'm gonna end it. 
So that's my video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not. And until next time, have a great day.